just um, turned on my camera because I wanted to show how Zoe was laying on me. And she's so camera shy. I made her get up. Zoe! I'm currently um, just watching some YouTube, waiting for my mom to get home so I can have dinner. I'm starving. I'm like getting shaky. Is Zoella. See. Truly a festive queen. We love it. But anyway, welcome to Vlogmas week two. Not Vlogmas. Now the motorcycle. So much is happening. This is a mess. <laughs> Vlogtober week two. So it's been a few days since I was last vlogging, or not even vlogging, made an intro. Um, but Brielle's about to come over and I'm gonna try, we're gonna try to sit by the fire outside, I think. Um, but we'll see because it's getting really cold. It's like 50 and windy, so we'll try to make it work. We'll see. So Brielle's here now, <laughs> which I don't think I even introduced you in my last video. Uh, but this is my friend Brielle. Hello. We've known each other since we were like five. Um, and she needs to take some photos. And so we're trying to figure out how she can do that. Yep. <laughs> so I'm following her. <laughs> I feel like there should be some opportunities. Should I get it like going up the sidewalk? Yeah. The yeah. Do that. Also, Last week, I showed you guys the trees. I don't know if you can see. The lighting's kind of bad. But they've changed so much and our boat got taken away today. So sad. Cute. The water's so clear. It is raining. Sprinkling. There goes the ducks. Got the fire. Some blankies. I gave Brielle my Snuggie from <laughs> when I was 12. The sun just came out and now the trees are reflecting so pretty. Okay, I thought I would share my fall Starbucks drink. So I don't, I haven't had like espresso coffee since January. So I got is so embarrassing honestly but it's a pumpkin spice chai tea latte with oat milk so i recommend you try that from starbucks it's a great fall drink and you could get a, a dirty chai too if you want the espresso grandma decided to leave her comfy house there and so um my grandpa's here and Four of us are about to go on a drive to look at the fall colors. So I'll take you along. This looks like a wetlands almost down there. Maybe not. It's just, just the valley. Lots <laughs> of trees laying down. We're off roading. Yeah. Road's not too bad. Back down.
So we're making some butternut squash soup for dinner. So my mom cut it all up. Now we have to season it with olive oil, right? And what? Uh, cinnamon and salt. I got a cup and a half of apple juice and we're gonna saute a small onion in the apple juice. Yum. So we cooked the squash and pumpkin for uh, 40 minutes on 425. And now we're putting them in the apple juice that we sauteed with the, how much broth? Onion and two cups of chicken stock. Two cups of chicken stock, and then we have to add a pint of this whipping cream. So we had this simmering for a bit, 20 minutes or something, half an hour. And now we are, we're supposed to mix it in a food processor this time. It's a muffin. It's starting to look like soup. I'm in the splash zone! Here is the finished product. I'm sorry, I have a lisp. I just got Invisalign like two days ago and I'm still like figuring them out. So hopefully it won't stay and I'll try to record as much as I can without them in. So it's not annoying. Not that there's anything wrong with lisps, but it's just uncomfortable for me right now because it's so new. Um, so today, Brielle is coming to pick me up and we are going to go to Kalamazoo. Um, we're gonna go to Trader Joe's and I want to get some fall goodies to try. Also, um, how do we feel about the beret? I've been seeing them like... On Pinterest and I've had this one for a few years and never worn it um so I feel inspired but I just don't know how to wear them like I feel like I can't get it right and I feel a little a little embarrassed but whatever we'll see Maybe it will be the one and only time. Maybe I'll end up taking it off before I get into public. But yeah, that's the plan for today. Hello. So we just got back from Trader Joe's and I thought I would do a little unboxing. I got a lot of their fall stuff that I haven't tried. So these like ghosts and bats. Macaroons. Reduced fat or whatever. Reduced guilt. Mac and cheese. Pumpkin flavored JoJo's. The cauliflower gnocchi classic. And then I wanted to try the sweet potato. Chocolate croissants, always the must. These pumpkin and spice things. Apple cider, ne necessity. Um, I've like never tried this witch's brew. I feel like people always talk about it, so I'm gonna try it. These little 
brioche toast. They're good for like cheese platters and stuff. These are like my fave. They're just good for when you need a little piece of chocolate. And these cuties, chocolate mousse pumpkins. So yeah, that's what I got. Okay, so we're sitting by the fire. Just a must, it's so warm out today. And we just made these um, like pumpkin spice apple cider mules. We got my little cinnamon okay. stick on top. We used um, pumpkin spice ginger beer and then apple cider and then just a little bit of vodka and that's it. And they were really easy and very fall and very yummy. Mm -hmm. And we're waiting for some pizza. Okay, so Morgan's over and I'm attempting to make us some hot cider, but I have no idea what I'm doing. So, I put some of the spices in this thing, and then there's just like the cold cider that I'm heating up. So I got, I'm using this that I got from Trader Joe's, and then these, like, apple cider spices i tried to go off of the directions but no we got this plate of goodies from trader joe's morgan's gonna try the i think it's called like um potato Okay. <laughs> so more of a chip than a sweet. I was Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was unsure. Pretty good. Tastes a lot like a Pringle but a little less salty. I yeah. Say. I thought um I tried one the other day. I thought it tasted like the potato veggie straw. Oh yeah, it definitely does. Just in, in ghost form. Yeah. It's definitely not like a Lay's potato chip or anything. 